Yeah, Mississippi leaders upset tonight with the possibility that an old casino could be turned to a, into a place that houses unaccompanied migrant children. Action News 5's Tavarius Haywood is in Tunica County with this story. Old Hotel at Harris Casino in Robinsonville, Mississippi, used to be one of the largest casinos in the state of Mississippi. Now, some state and local leaders believe turning it into a place that houses unaccompanied migrant children is breaking Mississippi state law. When you stand here and look at all this, what does this mean to you? Well, it means uh, there's potential for, for development. But what about a development to house migrant children? And you think it should be kept in the gaming uh, world, right? Uh, either gaming or something that, that's going to bring revenue to Tunica. 1021 Casino Center Drive was once a thriving casino and hotel, but a new proposal could turn it into the home for hundreds of unaccompanied migrant children. The Office of Refugee Resettlement Influx Care Facility cares for unaccompanied children. The facility wants to make the former casino its 290th location. Mississippi State Representative Cedric Burnett says this is not the location for that. At $150 per child, if they house 2,000, that's $109 million, and Tunica County will not see not one dime. He says the proposal would also put a strain on the medical facilities and an already short-staffed sheriff's department in the area. According to the Office of Refugee Resettlement website, there are over 7,000 children in its 289 facilities in 29 states. Disastrous for everybody that lives in that area uh, that has to foot the bill for it. State Representative Dan Eubanks represents DeSoto County, which neighbors Tunica County. Not what the people of Mississippi want. The Office of Refugee Resettlement says is legally required to provide for the care and custody of all unaccompanied children refer to them until they are placed with a vetted sponsor. It's, it's still a problem, um, and and regardless of who it is, they're here illegally. Um, we've got to really ask ourselves, what's really going on here? What's at, what's at stake? You know? State Representative Burnett says this would be a grave loss for one of the poorest regions in the country. Be added stress with, with really no benefit. Governor Tate Reeves' office released this statement Governor Reeves remains committed to ensuring the safety of Mississippians and will use every tool at his disposal to prevent Biden's border crisis from impacting our state. Burnett says at least two Tunica County Board of Supervisors do not support this happening here. He says the consultant firm did reach out to him asking for his support, which he says they do not have at this location. We'll keep you updated once we learn more. In Tunica County, Tavares Haywood, Action News 5.